hemoglobin is what is a blood pigment which is present in blood only but rbc or erythrocytes so hemoglobin consists of two parts heme part and globin part now this hemoglobin breaks into heme part and globin part because rbc have a lifespan of 120 days so after 120 days rbc break down so hemoglobin in rbc also breaks down and this happens at spleen which is the graveyard of rbc and some kind of destruction also happens in liver now after this heme is hemoglobin is broken down into heme part and globin part heme is the iron part iron iron containing part i r o n and globin part is the amino acid containing part the body has a perfect recycling mechanism wherein this globin part is absorbed by villi villus or villi of a small intestine and is utilized and this heme part this haptoglobins bind to this iron and prevents elimination otherwise they will be eliminated from the fecal matter now this with the help of transference this is hapto transference transfer this heme iron to bone marrow and bone marrow is the site of production of rbc and hemoglobin isn't it erythropoiesis takes place here so transference are transferring iron to bone marrow production of rbc and hemoglobin haptoglobins are binding to him preventing their elimination from the so you can draw this one haptoglobins already we know what are haptoglobins this haptoglobins are under the control of two alleles hp1 hp2 what is this equal to codominance so how many genotypes are possible three genotypes what are they hp1 hp1 hp2 or hp2 hp1 then you have hp2 hp2 so what are the phenotypes here how many phenotypes are there co-dominant 1 1 type this is 1 2 type or 2 1 type and this is 2 2 type and these are three phenotypes so the genes responsible for both haptoglobins and transferins are present on p arm of chromosome number 3 the distribution of these alleles is quite skewed in different population groups uh, HB, hpc and hbd fast moving and slow moving variants are there i think not necessary this is okay you get me selecting the right optional subject for the upsc exam can be a daunting task especially if you're aiming to succeed on your first attempt but what if there's a crucial element that could make all the difference that element is continuous answer writing practice at Vijeta IES Academy. Our Anthropology Optional Foundation program offers a comprehensive approach. Not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter, but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises. Each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by NP Kishore sir, ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills. This approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks such as Akanksha Singh, 311 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Chaudhary Shipra Vijay Kumar, 307 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Ajink Kumar, who cracked UPSC in his first attempt, and many more. With daily feedback and structured practice, you will be well prepared to succeed in the UPSC examination. With our focused feedback and structured practice, you'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the CSE. Don't wait any longer. Enroll in Vegeta IS Academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the UPSC exam.